Right, YouTube's Big Mike Mike first to do retro. Uh, just going to do a few things with the Spectrum, so I thought we'd uh, show you some basic tasks. Um, first one is how to format a disc. Right, YouTube, this is my uh, my main Spectrum. Um, it's the one which the Multiface 3 uh, uh, M1 slot works, which is for the Multiface 3. As you can see, the keys are a little bit dusty. I've got to get in there and try and clean the keys. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just going to show you some basic tasks. Um, cause basically we're going to do a will it won't it, but we're going to basically, I have to format a disc Then when we do the will it won't it, if the game works, then I'm going to show you how to fault, um, how to, um, save the games onto the, your multi-face three. So, uh, I always do that with my games. I basically use the original, get them to load, and then I'll make a backup on a brand new, um, new old stock disc. And, uh, we'll take it from there. All right, YouTube, cheers. Right, the first thing we do is we get um, a new old stock disc, which I think this is brilliant. These discs have been sealed for <clears throat> nearly 30 years or 25 plus years, brand new. Um, and we open this and then we're going to format it, so bear with me. Right, the cellophane is now off. Um, it was a little bit harder than I anticipated, actually. Uh, right, now you open a brand new disc and then we want to insert it into the spectrum right so uh, we've got anything in there? Nope. the spectrum's playing up a little bit at the moment I've got it sort of stretched out which is not ideal it's on top of a cardboard box on top of a box so um, yeah it's a bit stretched out so the, um, the RGB lead was a little bit um, uh it's not very stiff in the in the machine so i've had to shove some blue tack around it for now uh until i can get, sort it out but that's that so bear with me all right next thing we want to do is go into um plus three basic and type format uh dot dot um a directory dot dot i think if i'm correct and away it goes it's quite crazy this because uh computers used to be really difficult <laughs> and uh when i've sort of gone back to you know after 20 odd years going back to try and um work out how to use these things I had to look up uh, how to do all of this, so um, no, uh, there wasn't even a video on YouTube of how to format a disc. So uh, basically, I thought I'd make one. So if anyone else needs this information, I read it out in the Plus Three manual. And I just just uh, refreshed myself on the internet, um, but uh, yeah, there was nothing on YouTube, which is very unusual. So I'm also going to format the other side because um, Plus Three discs are two sided. So you just take the disc out, turn the disc over, reinsert it, and do the same process again. So, right. Uh, so four, four, oh, four. <laughs> yeah, delete on spectrum to the other side. <laughs> Format. Um, dot dot. A directory, oh no, <laughs> A directory dot dot. So let's go again. Just doing the same again. Doesn't take long. And the reason we're doing this is, like I said, I'm going to do a will it won't it. We're going to test some games. And once they're backed up, I'll show you how to uh, back them up onto my multi face three. So. I'll show you the multi face free in just a second. And that's done. So both sides are formatted. Um, I'm not sure what is on each. Let's have a look, see if I can uh, actually find out. Now, to do like um, what you do on a PC would be uh, DIR for directory. On Spectrum, it is um, cat for catalogue. So. And then tell you what's on the disc and what memory is free. So there's 173k 
uh, free on each side. So, okay, YouTube, uh, that's how to format a disc, and uh, we'll uh, see you in the, in the next part. Thank you very much. Cheers. Right, so this one we're going to try a um, uh, version of Robocop. Um, this one had lying around. So, basically, insert it into the spectrum. And then press enter. That looks lovely. Um, it's fine. Um, usually it's always good to uh, test that the game works because sometimes when you boot a game it'll crash. But I just tested this a second ago. I did cheat. <laughs> so uh, it loaded lovely, no problems. So now we're going to uh, pull that disc out and we insert our, our blank. Before I do that, I'm going to just write on it uh, Robocop. Robocop. So now what we do, we insert our blank disc. Right, so. right, as you can see on my Spectrum, we've got what you call a multi-phase 3 plugged into the M1 slot. Now what you do at this point is you just press the M1, uh, the multi-phase 3, sorry, and then that will basically bring you into this screen here. Um, as you can see, return, save, tools, print, DOS, alter, or clear. So what you want to do is... Sorry about the shaky hand cam. I'm trying to do this. I just fell off the tripod, so I'm just trying to do it with my hand. So, so file name, seven characters. Row. Row. Z. O. E. Uh, so Robocop, uh, is that okay? Yes. Um, abort tape or disk. So it's one to eight K. It recognises it's a one to eight K file. Press D for disk. Don't worry about that. It's not. It's not a problem. It's now saving onto the disk. There we go back to the screen. Doesn't take long. It seems like an eternity when I try to hold this camera. <laughs> See the drive on this machine is nice and quiet. It's a really, really it's a real shame because it's I'd say it's the second best condition spectrum I've got. But on the other spectrum, my M1 slot doesn't work. It just crashes the machine, but the other the other spectrum is in nicer condition. A lot more aesthetically pleasing. So um I was tending to get I've got four of the blooming things now. Um so I've been cleaning three of them up today. I don't know where the fourth one is. Right, now that's done. So you can either just uh, return to the game and the game just carries on so so you know so if you were just going press one to start and I'm not gonna play it but the border goes back to being black I'll just show you And there you have it. I, I can't play it because I don't have the hands free. So, but yeah, that works. So right, that, but that's playing off the memory of the spectrum now. So, if we reset that, right. So now we're back on the. We've reset the machine. We've got the our copy disc in the machine. Um, now, if we go to plus three basic, basic, we've got a copy disc of Robocop in now. If we have a look, if we catalog the disc. So just have a look what's on the disc. It tells us that Robocop's on there and it takes 113k 
it's got two files which is uh, the boot file and then the full file um and it's 59k free so you usually get on a disc you get a, a big big 128k game on one side and then maybe a 48k game on uh you, you know if this file's small enough so but right so we've got robocop on there now if you just try and um load uh Try and load Robocop. It won't work. Because the M3 is not on. Initially when the M3s were first released. Um, they That didn't happen. The games just loaded. And they were um, they were really sort of uh, worried about piracy. So on the later M3s. This is the model I have. Um, that happens. So what you have to do is. I'm going to reset the machine. And all you have to do is, if I press the M3, M3 again, oh, oh, there we go. Oh, no, the machine hasn't reset properly. <laughs> the joys of old technology. So, if we go into plus three basic, press the M3, you're greeted with that again. Um, so, return, save, tool, print, DOS, or alter. The M3 is now on. So once you press that button, you activate the M3. So now, if I uh, load Robocop, it should. Don't worry about the uh, bit of crashing at the top. It just does that while it loads. That seems to take a little bit longer. But certainly not as long as waiting for the game to load off of tape. And it carries on from where I press the save button. And like I say, you can press, I won't play it, but I'll just show you. And there you have it. Alright YouTube, like, comment, share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.